Delighted to be joined by Brian Maher, um, city number one, and in our opinion, Ireland's number one goalkeeper. Brian, two years at the club, almost now, two full seasons. How have you settled on? Yeah, I'm, I'm loving life up here. We've got a really good group and we've got obviously a, a top manager and, and staff, so um, everybody around the place made it very easy to settle in. And then I suppose in your second year, it's a little bit easier when you come back that you know you can kind of hit the ground running a bit more. Are you surprised by how quickly you have come to everybody's attention now? Um, not surprised. I think you know going to Bray was was done on purpose to try and get, as you said, senior games in and, and show people that I was ready for it. So you know the next step of that plan was to always hopefully move to a Premier Division club, and and obviously when when Derry came in, they were to pick it a bunch for me, and, and I came up here, and you know I've loved it ever since, and. Uh, I think you know the fans have really taken to me, and, and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a great song. I think everyone in the ground seems to enjoy singing it, and uh, even now I've got people at home and stuff singing it. And uh, no, I think there's a few of us now who have who have very good songs, and uh, it's always a big bonus with atmosphere in the stadium. So. Um, yeah, I think when results go right, there's always a few, uh, there's always a few young fans near the, at our front door nearly when we get home and they're singing them songs. So, uh, no, it's nice. It's really nice to have. What parts of coming to Derry and living in Derry have you found the most challenging, Brian? Probably the hardest bit is just missing home and, and you know missing your family and you know you miss probably you know things like go on birthdays and stuff like that, but. Um, no, just you just try and try and get the balance of, of getting home enough to see people and as I said the group of boys here and, and staff and, and higher up in the club have been very uh, helpful with that and you know they've helped us to settle in and, and living with a few of the, the lads as well is, is probably a help. So yeah, just missing home is probably the, the biggest thing but I think it gets you get more used to it maybe as time goes on. You know, if you take the, the season as a majority I think it's been very good. But as you said, a, a mad three days where we've lost two games on on penalty shootouts, you know, is is very tough for us all. And but I think if you look, if you take games in isolation, I think there's there's been some very good performances. And and personally, I think my game has come on working with with Doc, the new goalkeeper coach, and and Tyg as well. But um, yeah, as you said, now we've we've a big game on Friday, and you know, as you said, we can go and have the best best defence in the country. I think you know, with, in terms of clean sheets and stuff, we've we've got plenty this season. But um, We'll be more focusing on just trying to, to you know, to win the game and and hopefully that can secure Europe and then we can kick on. You're here until the end of 2024. Have you any thoughts or plans beyond this? Um, to be honest, I think us as a group, there's no thinking past these last three games. They're too important for the club. We need to finish as high up as we can. Um, we've got three really important games. I said it all will be really tough in their own way. So um, I think it'd be foolish to look past this season, never mind next season. So, um, yeah, obviously, look, we've had a good season. We've had Bayern, obviously, the, the three days of two penalty shootouts. But um, I think when you really look at it, and if we can keep people injury free next year, we've got a really, really top squad. Um, and we've got, obviously, windows if the manager feels that we have areas to improve. You know, the club's always trying to improve. So, um, I think from us, as in individually and as a group, there's no looking past there. Uh, the end of this season in any way because the next three games are too important. So just to summarise Brian, that means you're happy to be. Yeah look, as I said I think I've got the best song in the in the whole team so uh, you know hopefully now for the last couple of games we can keep getting that song going and, and the ground rocking and you know get them results we need and move on to next season.